My favorite thing is it's an example of sustainability and compromise between Denver Golf and the communities and caring for the green space that we do have left in the city. Having bees on the property inspires best management practices with the superintendents, with the maintenance staff. People tend to be a lot more conscious of what they're spraying, when they're spraying, how they're spraying. Having bees on the courses is a benefit to the surrounding communities. Bees can fly up to two and a half to five miles for food sources, so that means that they're feeding on that whole radius around golf courses and the communities, whether it be vegetable gardens, fruit trees, and people's flowers. Something I've kind of been really noticing lately is they can serve as a bioindicator as far as how healthy our golf course environments are overall and that also translates to good environments for native bees too because what's good for native bees is also good for honeybees. These days I'd say the biggest challenges are overwintering. Uh, Colorado has extremely harsh winters. They have to maintain their own temperatures and ventilation through the, throughout the winter. So just getting them through the winter is always a huge challenge for us. The, the cool thing about overwintering is they may swarm in the spring, but that means they're just going out into the community, local areas, and form, making a new home and you know replicating and all that. So it's putting good genetics out into the, the city that we live in and, and keeping uh, bee population numbers more stable instead of a steady decline. We can try and fight that as best we can. The number one goal I have right now is to work on honeybee health and maintenance and make sure that they are as healthy as possible. So we're rolling out an IPM program that is focused on controlling varroa mites, which basically leads to a whole host of other diseases and issues that bees encounter. You know, personally, I'd like to see beehives on every course. This way we have indicators and awareness at all of the courses citywide. And I don't know how many cities can say that they do have bees on all of their municipal golf courses. So I think that would be pretty neat.